One of the weirdest of these experiments was undertaken by Joseph Haffel and Richard Keating in 1971. Their equipment was a series of very accurate cesium clocks and a set of jet plane journeys that completely encircled the Earth. To begin the experiment, all the clocks were placed in the same location and synchronized. Some of the clocks then headed off on a plane, some heading to the east and others to the west, some moving with the Earth's rotation, others against it. $7,600 was spent on flights, with two seats on each plane going to Mr. Clock. And because they were flying, they were in a different gravitational field to the clocks left behind. After they had circled the world twice, they were all brought together. If the universe was governed by Newton's absolute time, they should all have remained in sync. But if Einstein was correct, relative motions and space-time curvature should have desynced them. The experiment was run, and the clocks were reunited. They differed by a few hundred nanoseconds. Einstein was declared the winner.